What's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy Next Gen 720, and I'm back with another video. And I'm still rocking out with me. I have my boy. What one? And I and it's crazy. I wouldn't even do a video on this, but fucking the bell started whistling and the wheels started turning. The hamster that I got in my brain was just, you know, was you know, I was, I was about to surf the web and look at some granny porn. I said, you know, hold up. Um, and someone posted in my Facebook group. I forget the name. It was he had a picture of. EA, I'm sorry, GameStop stopped and how it took a dive yesterday once EA announced their EA Access program, you know, program, you know, exclusive for the Xbox One. And I didn't think about it at first until so now it just hit me. Do you know how big of, you know, like, you don't understand how much this gaming industry is probably about to change? Now, what if, you know, what if Ubisoft does this and, and gets on board with it and lets you have access? To their whole library for like twenty dollars a month, including the new games. And what if Konami does the same thing for you know subscription fee of fifteen? Because you know, all these all of these publishers have a big back catalog of games. You know what I mean? Old games, retro games. I mean for ten, fifteen dollars a month. You know what I mean? Let you have access to their back catalog of games. And even to maybe for give you a, for a premium price, let you have access to the newer games that get to come out in the future. And you, like I said, then uh, Take Two would do it, and you know, all these, you know, you know, all these publishers would get on board with this. That you know how that would really fucking screw some, uh, fucking GameStop. If I can pay you twenty five dollars a month and get to play your new games, you know, have access to the old stuff, you know what I mean, and get to play some new stuff. Do you like? Do you understand how this in this this industry is is about to change this, you know what I mean? I'm just thinking like God damn because I told you before, you guys, the way that this industry is going, you know what I mean, we keep losing all these developers. Shit, today Crytek just sold the rights to home front. They're about to close their doors. So as Xbox fans, we must be kissing our eyes too goodbye. Crytek is about to close their goddamn doors. They just sold home front. They couldn't afford to finish making it. But do you understand how like it said like, you know, like, you got a back catalog of games. You got a game like, uh, give me something that Crytek, man. Crisis 2. Ain't nobody playing that shit no more. But here, for two, if I purchase $15 a month, you will go be on or you would, you know, probably go and continue to play. So now they're making some revenue from a game that's not even selling anymore. And they can just use their old games that are not even selling anymore. Like, I'm just being real. Who the fuck is playing Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter? Ain't nobody buying that shit no more. But if you get to play that shit on your next generation console, maybe for like fifteen dollars a month and have access to Ubisoft back catalog of games, forget about it, man. Yo, GameStop really may be in some trouble. If I was GameStop or this morning, I would get in front of this bullet and I would say I will come up with a program to say, you know what, when you guys trade in your games, whatever, just get the developer back one or two dollars or whatever the fuck the case may be. Because if all these big companies, you know, these major publishers get on board with this. Like, you know, you don't, like, I'm just being real. You get to play the new Call of Duty. You ain't got to go reserve this shit no more or nothing. We're going to give it, you know, I give we're going to get you a new Call of Duty five days early, a week early. And just for $20 a month, you have a limited plaza to play the games in our vault. Yada, yada, yada. You know what I mean? Really make a sweet shit for $25 a month or some shit. You get the Platinum Edition, maybe. I don't know what I'm just saying. You get the download. You get to keep one title that shows a month. You know what I mean? Like, like I'm saying, cause like all these companies have these big better back catalog of games. They're not selling; they're just sitting there. But I'm just being real. You ain't you ain't gonna walk into the store and buy a fucking give me a game. Uh, uh shit, give me uh Castlevania, the first Castlevania. Nobody buying that shit no more. Or Metal Gear Solid Four. Nobody buying that shit no more. But if my fucking you know Konami had put on you know come up with that app and had their back catalog of games, you know, you would go back and you play that shit, man. Like I said, I don't know, man. Like, this way this shit is going, like, you know, it's interesting. And it's kind of scary, too. But, you know, like, I, I, I just, like I said today, I blame GameStop for being so fucking greedy. You know, fucking the consumers. Fucking the publishers. Not everybody get fucked. He said, listen, if, listen, if EA, one day, because they about their money, if this shit really takes off, you're going to see a lot of other publishers get on board with this. And I can't say I'm mad at them, man. It's your boy, Next Gen 720. My right hand man, Quack Bond. We out here. Let me know what you think down below.